Shut up. All right. What's up, guys? Today, I'm going to be telling you guys how you guys could get easy arena wins and easy placement points in arena. As you can see, I was playing with my friends, Saul, Omar, and myself. And I'm going to be showing you how we do all these three steps. They're pretty easy. And yeah, let's get into this. Alright, for the first step you want to do is get a good landing spot. So you see where on the map it shows like a line across. You want to be like as far away as that line. So right here you want to lonely laps. And you can also go to that other place that my, uh, my friend marked. We end up going to that place because we figured there'd be less people there. And it did work. End up less people were there. Alright, once you land there, you do the basics, you get your loot, you get your weapons, but also, uh, you also have to get a hammer. Like, this comes really good towards endgame of getting a hammer, because for rotation, overall, like, sometimes you can knock people out, but mostly rotation, and rotation is very key in arena. Alright, for the next thing is always, you always have to get heals. Like, most likely the best heals you get are these fish, the jellyfish, or chug splashes. But chug splashes are really good towards end game because you can easily heal your other teammates. Easily heal. Yeah, just easily heal yourself and other teammates. So, I recommend you guys get heals that can heal your other people, like medmas, chug splashes, and jellyfish, obviously. And you see, me are, I am fishing for jellyfish right now. And another thing that's really important, you guys have to get Full max, at least wooden brick. As you can see, I'm mine, mining for uh, metal right now. Should have not, should have saved that for last. But I'm mining for metal. But the best thing you could get is max brick and max wood. And with the rocks that give you a lot of brick, that should be easy brick. And the amount of trees they are, that should be easy max wood. So that's probably like one of the important things in these steps to get a good placement or good arena win. So right here is probably the most important to having a hammer because at this point storms coming to get us and none of my friends have hammers but me but also if one of us have hammers that makes it pretty useful for everyone else because look at this I hit him and he gets to go to zone faster then hit and start mining again because mats but if we all had hammers at this time we would have made it to circle faster but this end up did working we all got to uh circle pretty safe we did take a little bit of storm damage but overall it was pretty safe but this is like why we need a hammer like early game all right this is another important step try to avoid it as much as possible because for this uh tutorial whatever you call it it's meant for placement points see there's gunshots over there and we just avoided them which is good to avoid fights because you don't want to risk getting killed but here coming up only fight when you have to. It's about to come up right here. You're about to see it right now. As you see, these are one of the moments where you do have to fight. Because they kept pushing us and we could not do anything about it. So we ended up did uh, closing up. We did make our little base before we got in any sorts of trouble. And see, we all grouped up. We all have chug splashes. This is why I'm saying chug splashes are really important. We all get healed. And I think a really good point, people don't like doing this, is trying to stick together as much as possible. But people say that'll get you killed. But over here, it end up did uh, making us get a kill right here. See, we all stick together, we all shot that guy. We end up killing him. And this worked for all the other kills. As you see, we're still sticking together, we have chug splashes, we're, kill we're killing each other. We have minis, we have all the heals we need. It's like heals are really important in this situation. And there's a last kid coming up right here. And I'm just gonna let you watch this for now and then I'm gonna start talking again soon.
as you can see in that fight, um, my friend got knocked, we ended up reviving him, and uh, we're in Storm, which is pretty bad, but this is all the reasons why I think avoiding it is better than trying to f rush for kills, and this is the reason why. We're all low, and we all almost died, but luckily we didn't, we made out of this situation pretty safely, but overall, we did end up getting like 6 kills there. But almost died, so I'm saying probably, probably avoiding is better than anything else. But you can rush if you want. But I'm saying the strategy that we used did work pretty well. Also, forgot to mention that another reason why hammers are important. At this point in the game, we all have hammers, and we all started hammering away, which made us get to circle pretty safely. So that's why it's another important reason I have hammers to get out storm in rotation. And yeah. Alright, I might get a little bit of criticism of this. We're all hiding in bushes, but remember, this is about placement points and about getting good placement in arena games. So, some of these situations do get boring because you have to camp, but in overall, it makes all your teammates get safe. We did end up leaving that, um, that camping spawn center made a little base, which is probably better, in my opinion. But also, I'm going to talk about augments, perks, whatever you call them. Perks are really good, especially uh, Stormcaster or Weathercaster, whatever it's called. You see on the minimap, the marks, that's where the next circle is. And we, one of my teammates have it, and we all know what, where the next circle is going to be. And that's pretty good rotation. And right here, we did end up shooting at people because it's late game people from behind us end up dead rushing us it comes to one of those situations where we have to fight and if we don't we might get killed and it was but we did stick together which is probably a good reason these were the hammers come in play where we could also escape fights so right here we avoided them and it was probably the best choice we had but they did end up coming back but if you stay longer enough over there probably would have died but we end up coming back we did regroup we did make our own little base and we we're fine no one was shooting us yet but overall we we're fine uh leaving that situation right here you do see a hammer play people are right behind us about to kill us but we did avoid them with the hammers and this is another reason why hammers are really important and we regrouped to our old base i did get shot at we did get marked but we regrouped, we built another base, someone did get rebooted. We almost died there, but we probably would have died either way if we stayed there. And we end up coming back, we did heal up again, and we were safe again from just avoiding fights. That's why fights are probably the best kind of best thing to uh, avoid. Right here, I'm going to speed this up because this is uh, where the what's it called the augment perk came in place, the storm cast. As you can see, we're in like a good spot in the storm. We have good rotation. As you can see, the next storm, that purple marker up there, shows the next storm. So we have easy rotation. We keep editing and, and like fixing walls so people don't sneak up behind us. And this is why augment perks, the storm cast, are pretty important because you can tell where the next circle is gonna be without uh getting shot at now, i'm not sure if anyone ha uh, had it but if you're like the only person in the lobby that had this augment perk you're at a really good advantage like it's pretty good on the way uh we were editing uh walls and buff we did end up killing a person which gave us more points and we end up getting top three right here and important detail right here height right now height is good right now because we all have the high ground i think the last people are both solos are all solos and this is where height comes into play so we just let them fought out as you're gonna see in a bit and i'm just gonna let you guys watch this rest of the fight and see how this turns out and yeah it turns out pretty good from following these steps
And that right there, that's what you're gonna get if you follow all these steps I gave you. We got the victory royale. We got seven kills, I think. Seven kills in, or eight kills in total from following all these steps. So if you follow all these steps, uh, you'll be good. And what are these steps? My friends are gonna be telling you right now. So what are the steps again? Just giving us a recap on the steps. All right. So um, the first step, you obviously land far as as far as you can, or, but like where there's decent amount of loot for you guys to for your team to get. And the second step, you want to get like a lot of mats, especially like brick and metal, and then wood because wood's obviously the easiest one. So I recommend you get that last. Uh, heels, I would recommend you a stat or like six chug splashes and floppers because floppers can hand you help you out while you are in storm, so you don't uh, have to worry about that. Um, third step, I usually carry two guns and a hammer so whatever those two guns you want to use use them and then a hammer for rotation at end game and going for height and don't engage too much like try to uh, only push if they come towards you or you have to push because you need a, a loot and seems like placement it right placement point huh Seems like our placement points. Were you gonna say? Placement points like usually matter too. Like so, I mean, placement points. I mean, we don't really need to talk about it because they obviously know what placement points are. In my opinion, I think you get if you get like, I feel like it's easier if you stay for placement points and getting kills, right? I, 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 like stay for placement points and getting somewhat some kills is like probably the yeah. best, right? Yeah. And, like, look how much points we end up gaining from before and after this round, right? We got, like, a whole bunch. Yeah, we got hella. We got, like, 300? Oh, no. I'll, I'll add it in the video. I'll put it in the video and see. i put a before <laughs> and after. All right. Thank you, Omar, for uh, telling me about these steps. And, yeah, that'll be it.